Hello everyone, Deathstrike here, bringing you a tutorial for Fallout 4. Today we are going to talk about advanced doors and alarm systems using the logic gates. Here I have a door that uses either switch to open and close the door. This way you are not locked out, out of your settlements. You can use this with the large gate to allow settlers in and out. And you can also leave the door open because today we have a lock mechanism. Now the way this uh, the original door system works is that a switch and a power source is then connected to an AND gate, which then goes to a NAND gate. Correction, a XNOR gate. The XNOR gate allows it to where either one of these switches must match to open the door. However, this relay right here makes it to where if power is being transferred from the door as well as the laser trip wire or another switch, it will lock the door itself. Now for the second part we have our two laser trip wires and these are going to a s simple an array using power and connected to the trip wires. This goes into a NAND logic gate which then inverts the power with a NOT logic gate and then transfer it to, to the lock. The way that Bethesda has done this is that these will always transfer power while the laser is on and we need that to be reversed <coughs> for this system to work. You can also wire from the output of this gate to a siren, as I have done here, so that when these lasers are tripped, it will close and lock the door, and then it will set the alarm. So as you can see, both gates, or switches I should say, open and close this door, but for this reason we will leave it open to for this demonstration. So in the way this is set up, either one of these trip wires will close this gate and set off the alarm. As you see here, neither switch will allow this door to be opened until the laser trip wire is then reset. And the door is now back open and the siren should shut off. Now there is a few bugs with this. Uh, one of them is if you have it hooked up to a siren, sometimes the siren will reset itself to the off position. A way to fix this is just to make sure that when you leave your settlement that it is switched back to the proper position for your settlers. This way that you don't have any settlers running up and taking their time to turn on a siren when an attack is starting. All it takes is one of the raiders or any other mob to trip one of these trip wires. And it's easier it's easy to set two trip wires back to back if you need a wider area. Now with the this trip wire array, you can actually set multiple trip wires to it. All you have to do is use one set of these and continually attach them to a node and then put them to your array. However, if you are to add more doors, you will have to repeat this in array right here. If any of you have any questions or comments, or have any uh, requests for any other wiring tutorials, please let me know. As always, like and subscribe, and have a good day.